This is the part 2 of the Blender Ornamental Modeling Hashtag 10. If you didn't watch the part 1 then you can watch it here. In that part we have created the base topology for this ornamental design. In this part we will learn how to give the realistic 3D form to this base mesh. Here we have the base mesh. And now I will delete the one half of the model. Then select these words and connect them. Select these words and merge them and try to create the center edge at there. Then adjust the position of the words little bit to maintain the good curve. You can select these words and you can use smooth vertices. And then select this edge loop and then use the smooth vertices. Then you can select this edge loop and then control B add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then dissolve these edges and select these faces. And then use the inset operation and press B to avoid the boundary. Then use the inset operation one more time and then press Alt S. And then select these words and merge them at the center and then dissolve these edges. Then dissolve these edges also. And then select this edge loop and then press Alt S and move it along the Z axis. So you will get this kind of detail. Here you can see in the reference image. I have created one more cavity detail and now take the symmetry along the X axis. And now we will create the same cavity detail for this center part. So you just adjust the position of the edges little bit. Select the center edge loop. And then control B, add bevel on it, add a two segment bevel. Then just adjust the position of the edges little bit. Just avoid the overlapping of edges and faces. Dissolve edges and add new edges at there to maintain the good edge flow. Then select these faces with the shortest path selection and use the insert operation. Use the insert operation one more time and press Alt S and scale it along the normal, along the Z axis. Then select these words and merge them at the center and then dissolve these edges. Then dissolve these edges also. So you will get this kind of detail. If I turn on the matte cap view and the cavity then you can see the details clearly. Then select everything and use the insert operation. And you can see overlapping of faces. Then delete the one half of the model. And now we need to adjust the position of the words to avoid that overlapping of faces. So we can get a good edge flow at there. For that you need to select the word and use the edge slide. Then create cuts at here. Then subdivide this edge. And then select that word and merge at last. Then dissolve this edge loop and add new edge loop at there. And then connect these words. And you will get this kind of form. Then take the symmetry. Then select everything, shift D to duplicate it and move it along the Z axis and scale it along the Z axis and give the value 0. Then select these edge loops. And then right click bridge edge loop. Then add a few loop cuts at there. Then select everything and press M and merge by distance. Then check the face orientation and now we need to recalculate the normal. And here we have got the 3D form. And now we need to add some imperfections on this model. For that we are going to use the sculpting. Turn on the symmetry, take the draw brush and start to create some details. Just need to use the draw brush and some plus and minus options and you need to create some simple details at there little inflation and the cavity it is very simple your topology is going to be same here you can see after sculpting i am getting little realistic form now here i have the pillar model and now i will try to fix this ornamental design on this pillar model so here we have this ornamental design just give it a right position Move it along the Y axis. Select this bottom faces and snap your 3D cursor to it. Then change the transform fade point to 3D cursor and adjust the scale. Then apply the rotation and then you need to add a simple deform modifier on it. Check that bending option and axis should be X and you can adjust the bending angle at there. Then snap your 3D cursor to the object. 
and then you need to add one empty and in the bend modifier select that empty as a origin and then you can adjust the position little bit like this with the help of empty you can adjust the bending angle also and it is looking really well now you need to add one more simple deform modifier and choose the bend option and this time check the z axis at there so you can align it properly in this way keep your simple deform modifiers on the top of the sub d modifier then select the ornament as well as the empty and shift it to duplicate it and rotate it into 45 degree angle in this way then select these three objects and you can see they are overlapping so we need to adjust the scale then transform fade point to the individual origin and then scale down them like this and then move them along the z axis and now it is looking really well then delete these objects and now we need to adjust the bending little bit then apply the simple deform modifiers then delete that empty and then go to the sculpt mode and use the grab brush and just adjust the position little bit and then grab your ornament like this and try to align it properly and you can see it is looking really well and then come to the layout mode change the transform fade point to 3d cursor and then duplicate it and rotate it and complete that cylindrical form and there you go in this way you can create this kind of ornamental design with little details and you can fix it on your desired object so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to youtube channel bye bye see you next video take care